What's going on YouTube? My name's Alex. This is Acid Cheese Gaming. This is a video response over to Joel at the Poor Man's Retro Game Room. He recently just did a video where he did what's called the $100 Challenge. Rules of the challenge are, you just got a new system, you have 100 bucks in your pocket, and you want to go and get yourself started on a collection. So what are some games that you would want to go and hunt for? Joel did one for the NES, and I thought, hey, why not? I've kind of focused and honed in on the Nintendo 64, as you can see here. So I'm going to try to give you guys a $100 challenge for the Nintendo 64, and here's some games that I would recommend to help you start off a collection. I'll start off with these on alphabetical, and then I will splinter at the end, depending on what you prioritize. Again, I'm going to try to add as much variety here as I can. So, got a console here. Let's move that a little bit back. And as I said, we will start off alphabetically. First one I'm going to show off. 007, The World is Not Enough. This is definitely not GoldenEye, but at the same time, it's not too far off. This was made by EA Games. It comes in with a price trading price of $12.91. So it's a pretty solid shooting game. Like I said, it's not GoldenEye, but still solid enough game. And if you enjoy GoldenEye, I think you'll enjoy this one. Next one is one that I think doesn't get talked about nearly enough. In fact, dare I even call it a hidden gem? Well, it used to be. I don't think it is anymore. Blast Corp. This game is just crazy mindless fun. Like, what can I say about this game except it's a blast? And this one comes in at a price trading price of $16.50. Oh, real quick, let me explain the rules for this. Rules are that you cannot have any unofficial released games, no multi-carts, and all listings that are used are from pricecharting.com. So let's continue on. So far we got a shooter, and I'm not even really sure what genre you call play, play, blasting, excuse me, Blast Corps. Ugh. Got tongue-tied there for a second. I guess puzzle game? Yeah, puzzle. So let's get a fighter in here. There's not a whole ton to choose from on the Nintendo 64, but I think there's one that's pretty good. Fighter's Destiny, pretty worthwhile fighting game. I think it's actually one of the better ones on the console. This has a price trading price of $14.52. So it give you a solid fighting game to enjoy. We'll move right along. If you followed my channel for any length of time, you might even be able to guess the next one I'm going to talk about. I absolutely love it and adore this game. I still think it's vastly underrated. Major League Baseball featuring King Griffey Jr. And I was surprised enough to learn that this one comes in at a price trading price of $5.83. Seems way too low to me. But I think this is an amazing game. Well worth playing and checking out. Now so far, if you know the Nintendo 64 console, you know that it's got a lot of racing games. None of which I've featured so far, but I was able to find one for a pretty good price. Star Wars Episode One Racer, aka Star Wars Episode One Pod Racer, and I was surprised to know that this has a price charting price of six ninety nine. Really cool. Now, while personally I love myself some Extreme G, this one will do pretty well. I think it's an enjoyable racer that you can have a lot of fun with. Now, next at this moment, I need to actually pause because I'm going to splinter off into two di two different directions here after I list off the next one which is the Japanese version of Star Fox 64 by taking the little two screws out of the back of this right there. Pops open like that. And the Japanese version comes in at a price charting price of $11.99. The regular version is about 20 bucks, so you can actually save yourself a lot of money. At personal, I think this version is just as good as the original. So... This is where I got a splinter off, depending on what you value and what you might enjoy. You can go two different directions. Got to get yourself a heavy hitter. You have one already. You got Star Fox. So you can include this one if you like, but that would kind of suck up most of your space. But I mean, well, you'll understand when I show it. The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time with a price charting price of $32.93. Unfortunately, that sucks up some of the remains of your funds, but hey, you got Zelda in the collection. 
You got Zelda and you got Star Fox, which I believe are two must-have for any Nintendo 64 owner. Or maybe you want to add a couple more titles to your collection, which we could do. If we swap out that, we can get another must-have also for the console, and we can even get ourselves a bonus game. So, depending on what you value for the console, with these two, you can actually swap either or. We have Super Mario 64 or Diddy Kong Racing. And let me check my notes here. Had to write down all these prices so I could make sure that I knew which one. Diddy Kong Racing has a price charting price of $24.82 and Super Mario 64 has a price charting price of $26.35. So depending on what you value, personally, I'd say go with this one. As much as it hurts to leave Diddy Kong Racing alone. But still, you got a must own for the console. And with that, you can even include yourself NFL Quarterback Club 2000, which comes in with a price trading price of $4.50. So you even get to sell, give yourself a kind of rather budget NFL Blitz cologne. It's nowhere near as good as that game, but hey, for sports title, it's pretty cheap, and why not have an extra game to add into the collection? So, like I said, we'll run back through these real quick again. We got World is Not Enough. Blast Core, Fighter's Destiny, Griffey, NFL Quarterback Club, Star Wars Pod Racer, Japanese version of Star Fox, definitely a must own, Star Fox 64, and you even get to have Super Mario 64. So thank you all very much for watching, and I will nominate to do this challenge. Hmm, let's see, who should I nominate? I think I'll nominate the YouTuber Nostalgia Lane. He's got a wonderful Nintendo 64 collection. He's working on a complete collection. I'm sure he could come up with a list for you. So I will nominate Terry from Nostalgia Lane to do a follow-up with me on this video. Can he come up with a $100 challenge from his collection? This is a lot more vast than mine. And if you're interested in seeing me do a follow-up to this video for the Xbox 360, which I have a pretty good collection for, comment down below. Let me know. As I said, thanks for watching, everybody. Until next time.